Welcome back to Big Jimmy. You can call me DJ and hello to the bushel of bad apples. Want to join the bushel? Hit the subscribe button down below to join this fabulously flawed family. Today we're taking a look at the... Uh, ew. And today we're taking a look at the Red Meat Lovers by Dunbotton Tobacco and Trust. We've reviewed this once before on the channel, but it was the older edition. This is the newer edition. I've smoked it once before and I really enjoyed it. I'm hoping it's just as good as I remember. But we need to get driving before we get reviewing, so I'll see you in a bit. Watch me whip. Watch me nay nay. Okay. So, there's four lanes of traffic I gotta cross on a crazy ass highway with no stopping, like no guaranteed my turn, right? And some days I can make it no problem, but a lot of the time I gotta drive further away and then do a Yui. I can't do a Yui right away because, uh, it's not allowed. But anyway. Smoking the Reet Lovers by Dumbarton Tobacco and Trust. I don't remember what size it's in. It's a smaller size than I smoked it last time. So. And obviously I'm driving so I don't have like a steak to eat with this or anything crazy like that. Um, although I did that last time with the last rendition of this cigar and uh, it made the steak worse. So already though, already there's so many more flavors in this new uh, Meat Lovers. It's so good. I say new, I mean whatever version came out in 2024. In this size. It's basically like a Robusto, I think. But it's box pressed. And it is so much better than I remember the last one being. The last one was very muted and it was K and it was fine, but it wasn't anything that was like truly captivating. Whereas this is loaded with spices. You get that meaty note to it. You get that peppery note to it. You get that hearty note to it. It's like the char on a nice grilled steak in your mouth. Would I want to eat a steak with this? Probably not, no. Um, I like keeping my cigars and my regular food separate for the most part. Uh, I do think desserts, and like Michael will do chocolates. Master your ash. Lovely pairings, lovely pair. I think he's done macarons, macarons before. Um, maybe not, maybe they're just, maybe they're alcoholic chocolates. I can't remember, either way. It's a good cigar, man. Peppery, earthy, meaty, no sweet, medium bodied, good draw. You know, I, I'm not the biggest fan of every cigar that Steve makes, like a lot of people are. But I ain't afraid to compliment the man when he makes a damn good cigar. The Mikarita Blue, fantastic cigar. Love that cigar. Uh, I think I might like this, this Meat Lovers right here a bit more. Hope y'all are doing well. I hope you really, really are. I hope you're having a great fucking day. And if you're not, I hope tomorrow's better. See y'all in a little bit. Well, the audio quality is about to change because I don't have my mic on anymore. I just uh, I just got out of a ticket. That's super cool. Um, he said I drove past a bus with its lights on. I didn't see a bus. I didn't see people stopping for a bus. I just saw a police officer whip out with his lights on and pull two people over in front of me and going, man, what did they do? And then he waved me over and he was like, you go park over there too. And I was like, oh, what did I do? And then I'm sitting there and I'm like, all right, I know what to do. I, I, I don't get pulled over for tickets and I don't get tickets. I haven't gotten a ticket in my car in, since I was 18 years old. 18 years old is the last time I got a ticket in Vernon, Texas. Look up where fucking Vernon, Texas is, okay? That's the last time I got a ticket. I was 18 years old and burning in Texas. Still had a California driver's license back then. That was pretty much instant ticket just then. But anyway, uh, so I shut my car off, completely off, get all my shit together, get my hands visible, and I'm parked. And luckily for me, uh, the person who we talked to right before me was an absolute Karen um, and was one of those people, she only cracked her window down like a millimeter amount 
and then refused to give her driver's license. So I could see this dude is getting pissed already and I'm like, oh man, this is gonna make me look so good. Sure enough, I walk over, he explains the situation to me. I go, no sir, I didn't see anything. No sir, I didn't see anyone stopping. But you know, you saw me, you saw me. Hand him my stuff and go on with my day. And he disappears for a while and the Karen next to me is all pissed off and making a bunch of hand gestures in the air. I'm just like, I was just trying to keep pace with the with the moving traffic, you know? I didn't think I did anything wrong, but if he's got me on video, because the Karen's like, I didn't do anything, I didn't do anything. And he's yelling back like, well, he's sternly saying things back. I'm sure he'd want to yell. He's like, would you like to see the video? Would you like to see the video? So then he goes to review the video, I guess. He comes back to me first before the other two. And he just goes, you know, in the effort of time, and because I don't have you on video anyway, because I went after these two, I'm just gonna give you a warning and you're gonna leave. He goes, don't, he goes, it's not worth it. It's a $700 ticket if you do it again. And I was like, oh, shit. Well, I'm like, is that a normal bus stop? Because I'll be, I'll be mindful of it in the future. He's like, yeah, that's, they stop there every day. And I was like, okay. I'm, I've been driving this trek for three weeks as of tomorrow. And I ain't never seen a bus stop there once. So I'll be making sure, look out for yellow buses in the future, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm glad I got out of that because I sure as shit don't want to pay a $700 ticket right now. Woo! I mean, I never would, but I also, I'm one of those people who will stop for the bus always. And I think the people who blow past them are assholes. I wouldn't want to be one of those assholes. Look. There's two things you could do if you get pulled over by a cop. One, shut the fuck up. That's what every lawyer will tell you to do. Just shut the fuck up. Admit to nothing and shut the fuck up. Or you be as compliant and as happy as possible. Shut your car all the way off, all that shit, and hope they're cool. I've been pulled over three times since I've been in Texas. I've been in Texas for 12-ish years by now. Never gotten a ticket. Uh, have I been pulled over three? Yeah, I've been pulled over three times. I got pulled over once. The cop said I rolled a stop sign. I 1,000% did not roll a stop sign because I never rolled stop signs in California. Like my parents and everyone in the car would get mad that I didn't roll stop signs because you don't you don't you don't stop at stop signs in California. You roll them all. That's just part. Of, that's like a rule. Um, and I've always like go gunk, go because I never wanted to get a ticket. So I'm, I've been in Texas for like a month, and I roll a stop sign. I still had a driver's license that was California at that point. So this guy was like, "How long you been in Texas?" And I don't remember, I don't think it was quite a month yet. And I was like, a couple of weeks, you know, we just moved in, just getting used to the neighborhood. And he was like wanting me to fight him about rolling the stop sign. And instead I was like, all right, sir. He's like, do you think you rolled the stop sign? I go, sir, if you say I rolled the stop sign, I rolled the stop sign. It's as simple as that. You wouldn't have pulled me over if I didn't roll the stop sign. And he goes back to his car, looks me up, comes back up. Hands me my driver's license, all pissed off. He goes, welcome to Texas, sir. You have a good day. And lets me go. And I'm like, thank you. Then I got pulled over last year. I was driving my wife's car and she apparently had a brake light out and I didn't realize it. And I was driving her car. The cop pulled me over to let me know I had a brake light out. And he's like, I'm feeling generous today. I'm just gonna give you the warning. And I was like, give me the warning? Isn't that what you're supposed to do? You're supposed to write me a fix-it ticket so that I get this fixed. And if I don't get it fixed, then I pay a fine. You're not being generous. You're just doing what you're supposed to do, dude. Anyway, no ticket. I'm happy. So, but man, that Karen was all pissed off. I didn't want to stop. I'm like, lady, if I blew through this, the bus, which I didn't even see the bus, uh, it's a, it was a four-lane four road, so like, I was on the far left. The bus would have been four four lanes across from me and cars weren't stopping. So like, I didn't see shit. 
But if I went through it, she was like seven cars ahead of me. So that bitch blew through it. She was so far ahead of me, she's the one I saw the cop getting. And I'm like, oh damn, what did she do? And uh, yeah, apparently let's go through a stop sign. Cause this dude whipped out to the middle of the street, parked sideways and started flagging us down. And I'm like, what the fuck? But anyway, made me put my cigar down and went all the way out. Point is, cigar's good and I didn't get a $700 ticket. So it's a good fucking day. It's a good fucking day. Uh, yeah, good fucking day. All right, we are here now at a stoplight. I'm gonna take this band off. Um, all the meaty charredness of the cigar is gone and it's actually kind of getting a little sweet, which is really nice. A um, little sweet, earthy, salt's going away. Very creamy now. Nice finish, like, like finish of the cigar. The finish is nice as well, but the cigar is finishing nicely as well. Yeah, super nice, man. Great cigar. I don't know what meat lovers go for. I couldn't tell you anything about them because I don't have any information on hand. And I'm gonna edit this mobily. So you're not gonna know what the cigar is made up of, but you have the magical powers of looking it up for yourself. Crazy, right? Plus at this point, you probably see other people. Watch Hound Dog, I'm sure he's reviewed it. Master Your Ash has probably reviewed it. Go watch those guys, get the details. For me, you get a little story and uh, a nice cigar. You get the flavors, who the hell cares? It could be made up of all Dominican fart leaf. Who cares if it tastes good, you know what I mean? Anyway, um, pretty, pretty uh, interesting day. Pretty interesting day. Edited some videos. I uh, left work. It's funny. I left work, not early, but I worked through lunch. So I didn't leave when I normally leave. I left a half hour earlier. If I would have left when I normally leave, I wouldn't have even been stopped by the police officer at all. Because it would have been it's just interesting. Like, glad it worked out. But that was annoying but anyway I worked through lunch because right before I was about to get ready I'm gonna go on my lunch break uh, a co-worker had been working on a project and uh, he's kind of the hold up on us going on to the next phase of this project and my boss walked in and he's like get with him and he smacks me on the shoulder and he's like let's get this done so I'm like okay what do you need man he said what he wanted so let's just give him what he wants and then we're done you know like mission objective mission complete i'm all for mission complete move on with my day i want to get to lunch so instead i waited like for an hour going back and forth trying to get this shit done and i'm like man so after an hour we're waiting for like the all clear and i even call my boss and he sends me the voicemail because he was talking to somebody and i'm like okay i'm just gonna run to my car real quick and scarf down my lunch so I did, I walked to my car just to get out of the office for five seconds, sat in my sat in my car, ate my lunch and like, I took a 10 minute lunch break, shoved my food in my face. And then I was like, all right, I'm done. And I went back in and as I'm going back in, my, my coworker was leaving for the day and I was like, oh, well, I guess we got the all clear. I paired this lovely drink with now a warm because I got pulled over. Creamy. A&W Zero. Um, A&W Zero is probably the best diet soda. Like, it's so good. I drank like an eighth of this can, man. Anyway, so we're here, end of the cigar. Great cigar, way better than previous renditions. I love this size, absolutely fantastic. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, all those YouTube things. Let me know if you've had this one in the comment section down below. What? Next, should I review? I got a Cohiba Nicaragua. I'm probably gonna smoke that next uh, or something else. If you guys recommend something else, let me know. Actually, by the time you see this, I'll have already smoked the Cohiba Nicaragua. You guys have a fantastic day. Let me know what you wanna see. Um, go to like, go to my new air video that I posted. You don't, don't buy a new or anything. That's crazy silly, but you can see all the cigars I have. And if there's something you see in that video that you want a review of, let me know at any rate. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Have a great fucking day. I appreciate y'all greatly. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching PJ. You can, of course, call me DJ. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.